What is up guys, this is Nuck, back here for finally another video, I know it's been a while, I've been off YouTube for a bit, and that's actually a really big understatement, I've been off YouTube for like 7 months, which is a really long time, which is more longer than I would have wanted to, but I was really busy, and you know, once I was free, I was, I don't know, I felt really lazy, and I don't want YouTube to be a job, I just want it to be a hobby, so I only do it when I really feel like doing it, I'm not going to force myself to do it, or else the videos aren't going to be... I'm not going to be as enthusiastic about them, but anyway, and if you also didn't notice, I did change my name to Nuck because, let's be honest, PC Gaming 300 was a pretty retarded name, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty bad, but, um, I don't know, I, I don't know why I chose Nuck in the first place, because it was something I went by on PSN and other stuff, so I am used to being called that, and it's not the greatest name, but it's better than PC Gaming 300, but anyway, let's get on to the video, this video is an updated version to my Windows 7 video where I showed you guys how to improve your computer's performance quite drastically um, so this is the updated version it is Windows 10 so I decided you know it was time for an updated version of the tutorial two operating systems later so pretty much had to and I did that video quite a while ago it was over a year ago a year and a half ago actually it's pretty long time and um, I also didn't like the production of that video I don't think the quality was the greatest I mean a lot of you guys were fine with it but for me just watching it I don't really want to put, put out something like that so hopefully not going to be amazing quality but I'm hoping to put out something that's decent but anyway before I waste any more time let's get on to the video uh, the first thing and a lot of this stuff is gonna be if you watch my last uh, computer performance video or whatever you want to call it a lot of this stuff is gonna be pretty much on repeat a lot of the stuff I did show but it, there is a lot of new stuff and it's gonna be gonna put this video together hopefully better than the last one and as I mentioned in the last video, this is not, this is definitely not going to turn your $300 Dell laptop from Kijiji, it's not, from Kijiji, it's not going to turn it into like some monster transformer gaming PC worth $25,000, but it will give you that extra performance edge that you need, maybe help you get some more FPS on your games or whatever, or help you with your video editing so it's not as laggy or whatever, so this will definitely drastically improve your computer's performance, but don't expect it to turn into some killer gaming PC or something. But anyway, before I waste any more time, let's get on to the video. What you want to do first is go to the search windows thing, and I'm going to be using this a lot, because uh, I really do like this and it's easy to find stuff. And you want to type in msconfig, and if you watched my last video, I did this as well. Hit enter, and this will open up your system configuration. Now once you want, what you want to do over here is you want to go to the boot tab, and once you're over here, you want to go to advanced options. And where it says number of processors, you want to tick that. By default, it's going to be set to 1. That's what it was for me anyway. You want to set it to the max you have. Mine was 4. What you want to do over here for maximum memory, you want to tick that as well. I don't know why it's at 257, but it should be at like 4,000 for me. And basically, whatever amount of RAM you have. So if you have 8,000, it's basically going to show that in megabytes once you hit this. I don't know why, but definitely do not have 257 megabytes of RAM. Uh, but anyway, I'll fix that later. Uh, oh yeah, you should hit OK there, by the way, but I hit cancel. And what you want to do over here now is where it says no GUI boot, you want to tick that. And, I mean, this is optional, but it does help with your boot time speed because basically what this refers to is that, you know, when you turn on your computer and it shows the Microsoft logo and it has the little loading, turning, swirly thing, you know, if you tick this, it's not going to show that. It's just going to be a black screen until your computer has booted up and you get to your login prompt or whatever. So it's not going to show, not a big deal, I mean, it, but it does help your boot time, so I'd keep that ticked if you really care about that, then I guess don't keep it ticked. Now, once you, what you want to do now is go to services, and this is all the services you have now. To click on hide all Microsoft services, you want to tick that, because a lot, a lot of the Microsoft stuff is important, and I don't want someone who didn't follow instructions properly to accidentally untick Windows 10 operating system and then blame me for their computer issues, so warning you just click on this hide all Microsoft services and pretty much everything else is not going to be important and these are all the services that are running in the background so as you can see I have a lot of this disabled so there's update stuff pretty much anything update related you want to keep on tick because that's basically stuff that just prompts you for update for updating and you know it's pretty annoying and it takes away from your performance and anything that you see that is important I just keep tick vast I don't need that to, run, to be running but I do for it because it's, it's a good antivirus so I just keep that there and then what you want to do next is go to the startup tab once you're over here you want to before you could just do it on this screen which is really convenient but now it makes you go to the task manager which is pretty pretty stupid in my opinion but whatever 
So you want to click on that, and this is going to show your startup, the stuff that's going to start. So this is, these are all of the applications that start up when you when you turn on your computer, just without you doing anything, they just start up by accident, and, not by accident, but they start up automatically, and then they run in the background after after it starts up as well, and slows down your computer performance. Now, if you see anything important, I just keep it enabled, but I actually have everything disabled now that I notice. But if you see anything which you, you're not sure about, I just keep it enabled, but most of the stuff like Hala, uh, in, better internet, OneDrive, I don't need that stuff to be running iTunes, you know, I don't need that stuff to be starting up. So that's how mine is. So you can exit out of that now, exit out of this, and then what you want to do now is you want to go back to the search thing. I did say I'm going to use this a lot. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of muffled. My mouth is actually really dry right now, so it's kind of hard to talk at the moment. I, I'm not used to these videos since I haven't uploaded in a while. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to type in system, and then don't go back to this again. Uh, you want to hit system where it says control panel. This is going to take you to your system information thing. Why isn't it opening? Uh, hold on a second. What the hell is going on? Okay, it looks like my computer just, okay, no, no, wait, let me try that again. What the hell is going on? Video about improving your computer's performance, and my computer's performance is not doing very well right now. Pretty ironic, to be honest with you, but what the hell? Okay, anyway, you can do that. I'll just go to, I'll just go over here. I'll just do this. This is the other way you can do it. You go to properties. Okay, I'll just, I'll just do, but you can also just search up system and just do that. It's easy, but. My computer is being retarded right now, so I'm just going to go to, and then you want to go to advanced system settings. And then once you do that, you want to go to performance settings on the on the advanced tab. So it should just load up there by by default, but if it doesn't, just go to the advanced tab. Now, what you want to do over here is you want to go and uh, set it so that it adjusts for best performance. Now, what this all is, is it, um, it it's basically all the animations on your computer, all the shadowing, the textures. So for example, if I put my mouse over here, you know, it shows this, it shows all that. And then if I go over here, it shows that tooltip. So it's basically showing what you want. So if you set it to adjust for best performance, it's not going to show any of that. It's going to look kind of basic. So if you have a decent computer, I'd customize it a bit or you can just set it to let Windows choose and it kind of defaults so that it sets some things, it takes out some things. but you can go over here and you can customize it for yourself and do that. And then exit out of this stuff. Uh, and then what you want to do next is you want to go to go to your file explorer and you want to go to your hard drive or not your hard drive. You want to click on this PC and you want to right click on your C drive and go to properties. Now once you're over here, you want to click on disk cleanup. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to clear clear your computer of temporary files and that kind of stuff that have built up over time. So that is quite a bit of help. You can choose what you want over here. So if you scroll down, recycling bin, you can take that. Uh, temporary files. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of this, but you, bas you, you guys get the point. And it'll basically clear of all this stuff. Yeah, recycle is because when you delete stuff, it actually doesn't really get deleted. It just goes to your recycling bin, so it moves the files from wherever it was before to your recycling bin. Recycling bin, so it doesn't really delete it from your computer, but it just hides it from you. So you can click on that and you can do that. And you can hit OK. I'm not going to do this right now because it is kind of time consuming, and I don't want to do that. And it is pretty self-explanatory, so you guys get the point. And that all of the, all of those files, the temporary files and stuff, they aren't. Individually, they're basically nothing, but over time they develop quite a bit and they actually do um, drag down your computer's performance. So once you do that, you want to go to the Tools tab and you want to do this error checking thing. Now, this isn't really for computer performance, but I'm just going to mention it anyway. And you want to do this maybe once every few months, once in a while, and this checks your hard drive for errors so that, and it can be a warning call, so if your hard drive has issues, if it it can warn you if it's going to go corrupt, if it has issues with it. So you can actually save a bunch of money. Uh, save, save $60 from buying yourself a hard drive just by doing this and being aware of what's going on and stuff. So if your hard drive has issues, you can, you can diagnose it and you can you know, fix it before it's too late. And then this other tab over here is the de defragmentation. You want to click on Optimize. And then once you're over here, go to your C drive. You want to hit Analyze. And once it's, once it's done analyzing the drive, you want to go to Optimize. And I'm not going to do this once again just because 
I don't want to waste time. But it's pretty self-explanatory once again. Shouldn't be too hard to analyze and optimize. And we're going to close all this. And oh, once I, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but uh, the biggest thing you can probably do is just go to your start window. I know I use this a lot. Is just type on your recovery. And then I'm not talking about the Eminem album, but um, click on system settings. And then you can just reset your PC because what happens is when you upgrade, when, upgrade to Windows 10, from Windows 7 or Windows 8 or yeah Windows 7 Windows 8 you can't upgrade if you're on if you're on Vista but what you, it is even though you get the new operating system it's an upgrade it's not a format so a lot of your stuff all all the junk that was that you had before is going to carry on so your computer is still going to be just as slow if not slower because it's a new operating system and stuff so you know this is basically just going to reset your computer get it back to factory state so that as if it's a new computer so that will definitely help your computer's performance if you're having issues you can just back up whatever you want and then do that you could probably just do this and not do anything else and just buy that sub by itself that should be enough but you know keep watching the video it's pretty 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 informative now once you do that uh those are all the main things the big things that definitely really affect your computer's performance now the, the rest of the stuff is kind of small things that do add up once again so it is important so what you can do is you can right click on your desktop. This actually does affect it quite a bit, but you can go to display settings. And what you can do is you can scroll down and go to advanced display settings. This is, my voice is killing me because my mouth is so dry right now, it's really hard to talk. But anyway, go to resolution and then, and then over here you can set it. Now don't go all the way down to 800 by 600 because then there's, there's just going to be like a box about like this big trying to show with your mouse so yeah like this big and you do not want to have that because uh, that's going to be really a really bad experience but you can set it to so this is my max you can set it to like 720p it's not going to be that much worse it's going to help your performance now going back to the desktop um all these icons uh i've seen people i've seen people like my dad for example he has like a full screen full of icons because he runs a business but still it's pretty bad because your computer's refresh rate, it, like, it keeps going and to load all those desktop icons over and over again while you're using, while you're using your computer, it definitely takes a toll. So what you want to do is, first of all, your desktop icons, I don't really think it's that important for, for me because obviously you have your taskbar and then you have this amazing thing they added and then you can just go here and you can just search for files and then that's just really easy right there. But if you do want to keep it, what you can do is you can right click once again go to new, create folders, and just organize stuff so that, you know, it doesn't slow down your computer as much, and it will help you keep organized, or you can just drag stuff to the, to the taskbar instead of keeping it here, and just overall, just keeps, your, keeps yourself organized, keeps a nice, clean desktop, and helps your performance and your boot time speed, and what you can also do is you can right-click, go to view, and then you can click on show desktop icons, you can unpick it, and it'll this basically just hides them whenever you really want it, you can just hit this, but I, I think that's pretty useless. I'd rather just not have anything here because just searching for it is faster than just doing what I just did right there. So you can just do that. You can just do that instead. And also for your desktop background, I'm not going to show you how to change your desktop background because that's pretty, pretty much anyone who's used Windows in their life pretty much knows how to do that. And if you don't know how to just search it up, it's pretty easy. But just change your desktop background to something that's not too, don't, don't have something that's... A, extremely high def you know like a 4k picture on your computer screen or especially please do not put a slideshow it looks weird and it just takes a serious toll on your computer's performance so just don't do that um yeah just don't keep a slideshow or a high def picture high def picture at least isn't too bad but a slideshow just don't do that and yeah just keep something basic if you want to keep a flat color you can but me being the type of person i am i just can't stand having that as my desktop background, so I just keep this thing over here. It's not too crazy high def or anything, not too basic either, so it should be fine. Uh, but anyway, that is pretty much the video. I can't think of anything else. If I if I forgot something, I'll just edit it in and do that again and in a really unprofessional way. But anyway, if you did find this video informative, if it did if it did help you, remember to leave a like, subscribe, share, and favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.